What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at uh, the Brazilian legend players, the legendary Brazilian guys that we have here. Now we do have one free spin that we will get to in a second, but first I'm going to give a quick overview for any newcomers. Any of the reviews that I've done before are up where you can go into the more advanced and in-depth uh, player reviews of these there are a couple of nice players here obviously I would say the pick haven't played with pretty much every single player on this apart from Danielson I would say that the pick for me would be Ronaldinho, Romario, Carlos and Cafu they'd be the four and I think if I had to narrow it down to two I would say Romario and Carlos they'd be my two ultimate of these if I had to pick one it would be Romario if you spin Romario you were going to get the best center forward in the game that's just my opinion but I definitely think he is the best center forward in the game, lads. He's just his 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 AI and the way he moves and he just gets onto the end of everything. He is an absolute demon up front, right? So we are going to start from worst to best in terms of overall rating. Um, we will start with Bebeto. Obviously, these players are the old carryover legends. That's what they're being called. Uh, carryover, and they only have a few uh, player levels to go. To be honest with you, I think this was a better way of doing it, that you had players that, yeah, they could go up fairly high, but, you know, these were going to be some of the best players to have ever played the game. Um, so you did want to have them fairly high, but not like 20 plus levels that you could make them like 100 overall. But anyway... This guy's got a wavering form. He does level up quite nicely. Um, we do have one touch pass, first time shot. I would probably play him as an SS. He's not going to be scoring a lot of goals for you because he's finishing his low. But 81 acceleration, 79 speed, 76 balance, and 78 offensive awareness. That is pretty beastly. Um, if you are looking, you know, even as the worst legend here, I, I'll probably end up getting him, to be honest, because I have no luck with these free legends. We also have Cafu. Uh, we'll get to in a second, but Danielson, just your stereotypical winger standard form b rating as you as all these players have 16 levels to go so very easily you can get this guy up to 90 acceleration and about 85 pace kind of handy enough your balance is going to go improved then as well and you're going to have 94 dribbling when you level him up um not to really shout home about i think his player id is decent enough from what i've heard from people um but yeah there's so many you know dime a dozen um wingers in the game that you don't really miss out on much if you don't get him i know that he can only play left wing as well or left mid so that is a bit of a concern for this card if you're going to have him as your main winger i like to have specialist wingers and then i like to have utility wingers um i might do a video on that quite soon we have elbert now this guy is also available in the eFootball shop so a lot of people have probably bought him already he does have a lot of nice player skills unwavering form the Bayern munich man the ex Bayern munich man um obviously was a fairly decent header of the ball back in the day he's only got 11 levels to go so even if you give see the biggest problem with these cards lads right especially if you're a newcomer is the team play style proficiency it's just you know you're going to have to pump in two into possession there or even three into out wide to bring him on par with the rest of the squad um so you know if you're playing out wide you need to have plus 90 uh because there's no manager that's like higher than 80 80 i think for out wide so you need to have a couple of players that are like 99 um if you want to carry a couple of guys that have a lower team play style proficiency i think that's the one big balance and act that they've got wrong with the new players that they're adding but that's a whole other story this guy you can get 90 finishing and uh you know 80 acceleration around that or like 87 finishing and 80 acceleration and that'll mean his offensive awareness is going to be really high but the biggest problem with him is his balance and his stamina you're not going to be able to improve that too much and it makes this card pretty worthless in my opinion now on to the big boys right so we've got Cafu and Carlos that are kind of very interchangeable obviously one's on the right one's on the left two of the best fullbacks ever to play for Brazil and ever in world football really I prefer Cafu defensively and Carlos offensively Carlos is obviously Carlos obviously a legend of Pez series and now a legend in eFootball as well you know what you're going to get him with Cafu even though he's only got 11 levels he's got really good tackling uh, that you can get into the 80s speed and acceleration into the 80s and stamina into the 90s so that's all you need dribbling and ball control is good without even leveling up in my opinion Carlos is more kind of attack based right so you don't have those defensive capabilities if I'm training up Carlos, I'm training up his aggression to 80 and then see what other, other stats I can get in. Probably get, you know, 90 speed, 90 acceleration, ball control, 
And that is an example here of how we could train Carlos with 11 levels. Obviously, this card has 15, but this is set at 11 here. So you've got 82 ball control, 84 type possession, and then you've got tackling 75, aggression 80, 90 speed acceleration, 93 kicking power, 88 balance, and 85 stamina. So that's a pretty decent card, man. I love Carlos. He's an automatic choice for me at left back every time, even though he's a bit of a disaster defensively. Rivaldo as an AMF very unusual kind of card because he's only got two play styles he's got a load of player skills he has unwavering form as well i would have probably given him standard form even though he was fairly consistent in his career um but i think the biggest problem with this card again as an amf is that lack of killer passing right so he's got 79 in the passing but he doesn't have one touch pass and he does he doesn't have a weighted pass which is an issue i think if you are going to be using rivaldo he's your classic number 10 but i think ronaldinho pips him because ronaldinho has got one touch pass he also has no look pass but he doesn't have weighted pass or low lofted pass so it's kind of a mix of both as well as ronaldinho r10 does have standard form but his passing and dribbling stats are way better than Rivaldo's. 11 rate, eleven levels to go. I'm not touching anything there but acceleration. That's all I'm doing. I'm probably giving 4 to speed to bring his stamina up to 78 and, and 80. And then acceleration, I'm probably putting the rest in there to get his acceleration up as best as possible. And then we are on to Zico and Romario. I'll leave the best to last, actually, lads. Zico, I've played with Zico, big time epic Zico. And in my opinion, he is disappointing. He's a disappointing card. He's got everything that you could possibly want on the pay on paper on the surface, but he just doesn't do it for me. Classic number 10 is a difficult play style to use because I think it's just his AI is, is just a bit mixed. He kind of hovers between positions. He doesn't run forward. He doesn't really run back. He's just kind of in no man's land a lot of the time. Guti is better in my opinion. Uh, Xavi Simmons is better in my opinion for the new players that they've added. That's not a legend. And then you've got also players like Messi or De Maria that can play the role as standard players that are as good as him. So this card doesn't really excite me too much with only seven levels to go. If you do get him, obviously you can train him up very, very high and he is a beast. But the biggest beast of them all is Romario, lads. Fox in the box, insane player. Now he's only got eight levels, so be very careful that when I was training Romario up, I messed up on his team playstyle proficiency. So some days I can't play him, uh, depending on my squad because I play out wide. I would probably put two into whatever team play style that you're doing. Obviously, if you play long ball, you're not going to be able to use him really. Um, but yeah, if you want a player guide on Romario, the best version of Romario is available on my channel. And I will be continuing to do videos like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it, lads. That is it for me, Romario. You've got all the stats that you could possibly want there. Player skills. He's not massive player skills, lads. He doesn't have a huge amount of player skills. But he does have first-time shot out, outside curl or long-range shooting. He doesn't have long-range curl. But he's more of a direct. He's kind of a point-and-shoot kind of player. Very direct, very basic runs. Offensive awareness, ball control, dribble, and tight possession. All extremely good. I would be boosting up maybe four into his finishing to get that up to 80, 88 or maybe I'd probably put three into finishing and then I would probably put uh, four into acceleration and then one into speed. That's probably where I'd go with it. Um, just to bring his acceleration up. You don't need a massive amount of speed, lads, to be honest, because he's only going to be making short runs. But that is it for me, lads. I'm going to spin right now and we're going to see who I get. I was going to wait till the live stream, but we will do it right here, right now. I would love Cafu, lads. I, would, I, would mind, I wouldn't mind another Romario either, but I would absolutely love Cafu. Um, or somebody new that I haven't played with. Rivaldo or Cafu would be huge. Cafu would be my ultimate, obviously. Uh, oh, four star, but better watch. I knew it. I knew it. I called it. I called it straight away. Oh, it's the goalie. It's the goalie. Elber. I could have got for free. No good to me, lads. He's not going to even make my squad, but it is what it is. We continue on. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back with some more reviews. We will have the Manchester United pack next, and I'll talk to you in a bit.